the light, arise and shine. My name is Celestine Anyango Odur, and sixth born in the family of nine. 20 years ago, when I was just nine years old, I saw my parents struggling with us to raise us as subsistent farmers. We could squeeze mangoes during mango season and apply them in our faces and our body as body oil. At times when we, the mangoes were not there, we could go without oil. This made my body to be pale and cracked. And some children were writing on my skin saying that they were mathematics books. I saw my elder sisters dropping out of school to work as house help to support the family. This was very common in my village as other children were also dropping out and some were getting married at the age of 13 years old. I purposed in my life not to drop out but to support myself and my family as I go to school. I could sneak out of school and walk five kilometers with a basket full of mangoes to sell in the nearby market. I got to high school. Here, I reported late, so I was forced to do agriculture, this good for nothing subject. I wanted to be a doctor, not a farmer. The first exams I got 34%. These were not my grade. So because I had to change my attitude that I may become who I really wanted to be. So here, after changing my mind, renewing my mind and changing this attitude towards this subject, I learned something. Just as human being, plants also need doctors. They become sick and they also get infected by jiggers that drain their blood, making them to be weak, to be stunted, to be thin, and also they are not able to have good health. So I can be a doctor, but of plants. I joined University of Nairobi as the first girl in my family I celebrated the journey. My family celebrated me. My parents celebrated me. And my brother also offered to pay my education as a, as a self-sponsored student. Unfortunately, in the second semester, I got pregnant with a first year just like me. I lost it. I was a loser, a disgrace to the family a disgrace to my community, a disgrace to my sponsor, my brother, and a disgrace to my parents. Then I remembered, in the book of Job chapter 14, verse 7, it says that there is hope to every tree cut. Its tender shoot will never fail. So I had to stand because I knew the next step I am not going to fail. Yes. I finished and I graduated. Then I got an internship with the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture. And here I also learned a new thing. There were some insects, in some pests underground. Because of their effect, there was yellowing stunted and all the things that I used to see. This clicked my mind and reminded me that these are the things I have been seeing in my village. So during the holidays, I went home. And when I got there, I got a jembe lying on the ground. I grabbed it and I ran to our kitchen garden. There, I got roots and soil. And I came back with them to Nairobi in our lab at ICP. After processing these samples, I went to the microscope. Yes, they were there. These tiny, microscopic, transparent, thin worms 
they are walking. They came from our roots. So these are what have been feeding on our roots. I realized that agriculture was the backbone, especially plant health, is the backbone of the economy of not only my society, but also the nation and the world as a whole. Creation, life, growth, and good health happens under the ground in secret. This means that soil health should be given greater attention. As much as we are looking at the above ground pests and diseases, we should also get inside and see what is there. Because once in our life, we need a doctor, a preacher, a teacher, but every single day, we need a farmer. Thank you.